Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafting on a Budget. We are here today to show you another line. I want to do another review of another line again by Chow Bella, which I am just, I am so impressed with their paper. Uh, their paper just has this amazing feeling to it. It's beautiful and the scenes are gorgeous and just the way they do their backgrounds of their papers are so unique it's like you're getting a mixed media page almost on every single page and this collection is no different than any of the other ones it has the same type of vibe and i absolutely love it I will say that for this collection, I got the um, nine double-sided papers, um, which are longer. This is called the A4 Creative Pad. I got the 6x6 six six size, and I got the 8x8 eight eight size. And the reason for that is I want to do a, big, a really big book with this, so I needed a lot of... Um, I need a lot, a lot of paper because we're going to do a big book. Um, and you know me, I use every bit of the paper. Um, so it won't go to waste. I can assure you of that because every little scrap we have we'll use for something. But let me talk to you a little bit about this line because it's called Memories of a Snowy Day. And it's just so beautiful. And again... They did the cover the way they do all of their cover sheets, which I think is genius, where you have this line of demarcation down here, this white line, so that you can use all of these elements. And when you flip it over, you can see those elements have a background to them, which I love. And this background, it looks like it's got like uh, tickets, maybe like time stamps. Reminds me almost of like some, oh, Subway. Oh, no, it says subject to bylaws and regulations. But it almost looks like um, the vintage um, type of tickets you would use on a Subway. And then at the bottom here, we have all these beautiful tags that we can use. One says Hello Winter. One says Mistletoe and Falling Snow. And one is this beautiful ribbon. And you know me, everything is better with a bow. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous bow. But this, look at this little guy. Look at him. This little, I think he's a chipmunk with the bird. It's just so precious. I absolutely love this. The next page is like a harbor scene. You have your you have your boats like that are in this harbor, but then you have the row houses. Um, so it almost looks like a canal in a way. And then you have your harb, you know, your houses, your row houses. Um, so it does kind of remind me um, of New York, and it does kind of remind me a little bit of Paris. Um, it kind of pulls in both elements. The street lamps are beautiful. That kind of reminds me of a Thomas Kincaid feel to it. You have um, these the script writing. You have these dots, um, you know, these uh, polka dots, but they're not even. They're all different sizes. You have the branches coming down. You have the snow on the branches. The row homes look beautiful. But look at that, just the street light alone. I mean, it's just amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. The reverse side, I love. It looks like bubbles. Um, I love polka dots, anything with polka dots. And so this, I love. I love that they put this, uh, this like, yeah, it's like a yellowish color that they put behind it, but it almost makes it look like, um, a dim light has has illuminated the page. It's really, really pretty. I, I, I just love it. It's gorgeous. This one is called Good Memories of December and Joy. And again, here we have the row homes. We have the street light. We have another house here. We have bicycles. We have a bench, a snow-covered bench. We have some trees. 
we have some birds we have some stamps that have been canceled out we have script writing a lot going on here here if you can see close here here's that waviness of a a stamp like a postal stamp i don't know if you can see that um and then here we have like tickets very muted but they do say tickets on them emergency ticket um again script writing no music notes so far on this collection that i have seen but it is stunning it is just it's breathtaking it is so beautiful and the reverse side of this is more dots but a very deep chocolate background the background is beautiful i'm just gonna have a sip of tea because i've been talking so much it the background on this one i love love it now this one oh my gosh talk about cuteness it's like you have a city street in the background but that's really not the focus of the page even though it's gorgeous and you have your street lamps and you have your people walking on the city street you have all of these canceled out postage stamps and then it says december and joy we have tickets we have branches you have a postcard down here but look at these guys they're in the mailbox ripping up the mail <laughs> i think that is so stinking cute i can't even tell you how cute i think that is i absolutely love that and on the reverse side of this one oh this is neat we have a different color this is more of like a um rusty kind of a color we have some script writing we have the dots we have some stitching done and we have some big cracks so that's like big crack stenciling up there and again we have the postage stamps which i love the next sheet says a memorable snow day let it snow no winter lasts forever white lips pale face breathing in snowflakes um, and it's repeated twice on the top and on the bottom borders but look at all of the elements you have these gorgeous wreaths you have the bird see now i would take this and put a pop dot and layer it on top of this one you have a bicycle again that gorgeous bow you have some holly with the berries and then you have your row homes look at how cute they are oh my gosh just a, your typical city street i absolutely love it and the back is very pretty we have the 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 taupes the tans the browns the beige and then we kind of almost go into a grayish kind of clayish color on this side and the the middle is just like a, a white that's been colored down it's um so it's not like a shocking white it's so pretty and we have some script writing here um no tickets on this one then on this page it says swan lake oh my goodness look at this look at this page ah oh, this is like something you'd see in central park um it's so beautiful you have the water you have the beautiful majestic swans they have some stamping of snowflakes there's splotches of paint that looks like it was you know dabbed with a paper towel there's script writing there's the beautiful snow covered bridge this page is just beautiful you will love this page it is gorgeous and the reverse side of this is polka dots which i love and these are definitely more uniformed these polka dots and we go from different colors we go from the brown to like a beige to like um a, like a deeper kind of shade of brown and then we end with a really dark brown at the bottom here but if you look closely it almost looks like a i'm going to try to bring it up as close as i can well, you really can't tell from that way it almost looks like there's a background of a herringbone um type of design it's so beautiful oh my gosh 
Could it get any better? Could it just get any cuter? I think this might be a church in the background here. There's script writing. We have our swans. But look at the stars of the show. Oh, my goodness. They are so adorable. And again, script writing on this page. I love that this shows the reflection in the lake of this. I think that's really cool. I love when artists do that. You do have snowflakes in different places and kind of I'm pointing them out to you because when you first look at the paper, they don't just jump out, which I love. I love that they're muted. And then you then you see them as your eyes start to, to look at the composition. This says Hello Winter, but these babies are the star of the show. They are so cute. This background looks like a marbled background to me. Um, again, we have some taupe color. We have uh, like a really light brown. We even have like almost like a goldenrod, but that's been really muted out at the top. It's just really beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're making a snowman. I can't even stand it. Ugh. All right, calm down, Michelle. Calm down. Show the paper. First of all, on this page, we have two postcards and they are adorable. They are just darling. But look at these two. In the meadow, we can build a snowman. <laughs> so that reminds me of. They're so cute. They are so adorable. Oh, and it's all script writing behind them. And of course, you have your trees. You have snowflakes. Oh my gosh, guys. And look at, they already have the little berries ready to put for his eyes and his buttons oh my gosh i can't i can't take this i just i'm just such i love animals you guys all know and this is so sweet and the back is really cool the back has some script writing but the back has more of like a a blue i wouldn't say a teal doesn't look like teal to me it, it's kind of like if you took teal and green and put them together and added maybe a little pewter blue and then really, really saturate, you know, really added a ton of water and look at the footprints. Oh my goodness. How cute. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. That is so special. Oh my gosh. This collection is so special. I hope that you run and get it. Look at this page. Here we are with just very simplistic but so beautiful we have the sky and the, the trees and the snow falling and script writing we have big script writing here small script writing down here the browns get darker at the bottom it is just beautiful the reverse side oh surprise surprise is wood grain and i love it it's got a lot of great gray tones to this wood grain really really pretty you will love that oh my gosh look at this sheet of all the cut aparts i love cut aparts because i you i love tucking stuff into my journals you guys have seen what i like to do these are beautiful look at them look at them <laughs> It's just so cute. And I love that the reverse side matches. So when you cut it out, it automatically has not just a plain background, but actually a well-developed, really artistic background on the back. So like this says postcard up here. So as soon as you cut this one out, like let's say we were cutting this little squirrel guy out, then behind him would be this whole scene here. And I love that. I think that is so clever. It's a great use of the paper. And that way you don't have to back it with anything. And it looks so cute. The next page is a bunch of little, looks like holly berries to me, or little winter berries. So pretty. They're all scattered around. They're gorgeous. And the reverse side is really a darker 
color, which really kind of fits in with the with a lot of the see like the elements. You see what I'm saying? It, it really fits in nicely. So you do need these pops of, of dark darkness and I absolutely love this and then here we have December and joy we have hello winter you and me good memories December and joy hello winter so it just repeats itself we have the script writing we have the snowflakes we have that stenciled brickwork absolutely stunning 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 it's got like a grayish uh tone to it and the back look at that look at that couple it says you and me i mean that is just precious and look at these little par benches that are snow covered but look at these look at this couple holding their lantern out in the snow underneath the big street light I mean, just so beautiful. I love this. And what I will suggest is I did pick up this 49 and Market Garden Petals because I thought these flowers looked really nice with that collection. And it's called Garden Petals Parchment GP-88930. And it's 49 and Market. And you can get this on craftingonabudgetstore.com. And so make sure that you uh, get some flowers for your collection. You may have some in your stash too. Um, but I just like to show you everything that I'm going to be using so that if you say I want to make Michelle's project from start to finish, you can do that and not have a worry about, oh, I don't have this or, oh, I don't have that in that size. Oh, I have to substitute it for something else and I don't have that in my stash. So... I just like to give you an idea of what I'm using and, you know, depending on, you know, what you want to do and also depending on your budget, you, you have to decide what it works for you. But I got everything for this collection because it just, it's so beautiful and I knew that you guys would love it and we're going to make a really big book with this one, a, a big scrapbook, just so that you know. Um, won't be a lot of little projects with this this is going to be a big scrapbook um you know big journal it'll have a you know a spine you know a, you know chipboard spine so you will need some chipboard chipboard cover um but it is going to be a, a chunk you know a big chunky book so it won't be a junk journal um but it will have it will utilize all these papers very nicely and you guys will love it so that is this collection. I hope that you add it to your cart. It's called Memories of a Snowy Day by Chow Bella. And get it while you can because I'm sure that it will sell out quickly. It's totally different kind of a uh, feel than most of the Christmas or wintry type of um, collections we see out there from other designers so these these come from italy they're beautiful papers and i i think you are going to absolutely love this collection so you know what i'm gonna say stay safe be well god bless you all and bye for now